when there's a need for uh, data solutioning and data architecture work, uh, particularly when it crosses segments. Uh, one thing that I'm doing currently is um, architecting a, a, a data solution that allows the people from various segments like ESPN, uh, Marvel, Disney Parks, uh, ABC to understand the customer experience across all those brands. Certain knowledge that ESPN may have about a customer and certain knowledge that ABC may have about a customer and they use that knowledge to the best of their ability to really drive home the, the best experience. When you bring that data together in new ways, then that opens up new opportunities for each of them respectively to engage with the customer in, in greater personalized ways. I had an opportunity to do a uh, data research project on Captain America. What I, what I did was able to go and look at the uh, data set and around creative assets in the Marvel Universe and then using a network analysis understand some of the connections in that data set and that had implications for things like uh, character development and then also um, could have applications for storyline development. Oftentimes people think of data as attributes. In the movie Toy Story you have um, Woody and Buzz. So the attributes that Woody has is he's He's got boots, he's got a badge, he's got a hat, he's a cowboy, right? And that makes up Woody. And then you have Buzz, he's a space ranger, he's got a visor, he's got um, wings and so forth, and that makes up Buzz. But really, the story emerges out of the connections between those. For instance, Woody is an enemy to Buzz initially, uh, later becomes an ally or a friend. Uh, Woody is a leader to other toys. Woody is owned by Andy. Andy has a mom, Andy has a sibling, right? And it's those connections where the story really emerges. And I think I, we can see that in data that we have as a, as a company, where we can understand these attributes, but then it's really the connections that emerge out of those attributes where the data starts to come alive. The most challenging part uh, is, is gotta be keeping up with, with everything, uh, particularly with the data space. The data is just growing exponentially. On the rewarding side, I, I think it's um, being able to use technology to make something that was previously impossible now possible. Seeing how my hand played a small part in that is uh, in, in, in the magic that goes behind some of the experience that Disney has uh, is really rewarding. A role at Disney with data I, I think is unique in, in certain ways. The Walt Disney Company is made up of several distinct very um, large brands. One of the things that really attracts me and, and um, is rewarding is that working with all of these different um, segments and brands, understanding how data applies to rendering things with Star Wars movies. I've had the opportunity to talk with experts at Lucas and understand their practices. That diversity, I think, is, is hard to find in a, a single opportunity in a company. Disney's been a technology company, and you can trace this all the way back to the multiplanar camera, what went into Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and it's what made Disney a leader in that space. They took things to the next level. I see it very much as the technology driving the media, and the media then drives the technology. So when it works together, that's where the innovation really comes.